I have a cash visit rate for new patients and established patient that is different from insurance billing rates. What amount do I put on the super bill that I give to patients to submit themselves to their insurance company? <clears throat> you can only put on the super bill the amount of money that the cat that the patient paid. Now, here's where the difficulty gets a little tricky. You have to figure out is the patient going to use their insurance or not? If they're not going to rebuild their insurance using a super bill, you may cash discount them. If they are going to use their insurance and you're they're submitting with a super bill they are an insurance patient not a cash patient now let me say this and this is a this is an ongoing question and discussion in the United States we have 50 states the only state which is in which it is legal to cash discount is California. We actually in California have a cash discount law. There is no other state in the United States that has a discount law. So when you discount your services, you have to be sure that the patient is not going to use their insurance. Otherwise, if they, let's say that they, you discount it Let's say, I'm just going to pick this out and say your visit is, your acupuncture treatment is 75. And you think that this is a cash patient. Because Mrs. Green has said to you, I, I will pay you and submit my own bill. And you say, okay, you get a cash discount. Let's say you discount it down to 60. Okay. All right, well, Mrs. Jones refers in her neighbor, and her neighbor says to you, I have the same insurance that Mrs. Jones does. You gave her a discount, but I, I need you to um, bill the insurance for me because I have four children and I can't pay you. And you send to the insurance company for Mrs. her neighbor. You sent Mrs. Jones is 60 and her neighbor you send in at 75. I'm the insurance adjuster and I'm going to call you and I'm going to say to you I have two claims in front of me. Both of them are your patients. It looks as if the services were the same. Can you please tell me why Mrs. Jones bill is 60 and her neighbor's bill is 75. Can you ask them that question? Let me hear what their answers are. No what? Well, if you do it, and I get the bill and I'm the adjuster, I have the same right to the discount you gave Mrs. Jones. So rather than getting paying you on 75 for your visit, I'm going to pay you based on 60 for your visit because I have, as the insurance company has the same right to the discount. <coughs> so what you have to be very careful with is to be sure that you categorize your patient the correct way when they're going to pay their bill. To be sure that even though they are going to pay, um, they're going to re get reimbursed from their insurance company, you have to bill them whatever your insurance rate is. Now, the other thing for the cash discount in California is you may discount only for an uninsured, someone that has no insurance, or an underinsured, someone whose insurance policy does not have enough coverage 
or they've used up their benefits.